In this episode, we'll be hacking Rushiram, or Rushiram. I don't remember how it's pronounced. I've saved. I don't think I'm going to use my Master Ball here. Or what am I saying? I'm not going to. No way. So, okay, let's see. What can I use to weaken? Electric grass, electric bus. I'm gonna hit it with a dragon claw real quick, just to get its health about halfway. Son of a. I. So. I haven't even healed. Damn. I realized I haven't. My Embor, which is a fire type, which would be able to slowly lower its health, is fainted. Well. Um, I got a Leafy on. Maybe I can use that. I'll use. Uh, oh, okay. I, I think I know what I'm going to do now. This is going to be a pain. I can already feel it. So let me think. Um, I can do. Uh, wrong bag. Wrong thing. This is not going to go well, but I'll risk it. Because it's the best thing I have. I think. Lithium. So, okay, I'm going to use... Sword Dance. And now this is going to take me out. Well, let's see. What? Electric bug and steel. Okay, I need to use a stronger electric type move. Fusion Flare. That's his special, isn't it? Like his exclusive move. I hate when. See, look. I know critical hits are there for the randomness. And sometimes they'll be good, right? You'll be about to lose and you'll get that lucky critical which will save you. But then you get things like this, which just... Oh. In this case, they, they just piss you off most of the time. You'll be about to win. Oh. And then, boom, something like that'll happen. Which really get my knickers in a twist. Whatever a knicker is. So, okay, I'm gonna use that ice. So that ice punch seemed to do good. I'll use, I'll start off with that. Then maybe use a dis, a thunder or two. Just to lower its health enough. At least my team's adapting. At least my team's able to adapt for the ever-changingness of everything. And my team, like, I... I don't think I've ever had a set team in a game, a Pokemon game. Most people like to plan out their teams before they start a game or whatever. 
Right, I've never done that once. I've never done, yeah, I've never done that before. The closest I think I ever got was on a playthrough of Pearl. I figured out, oh, I'm going to use, I think, like two Pokemon. I'm going to be pissed if I get a critical here. Because this should do a, because he has fire, it, this move's just normal, like, effectiveness. Because fire makes it, because uh, it's fire makes ice not super effective. But it's, um, dragon makes ice, or, how, how would I phrase this? Fire is not, okay, ice is not super effective on, ice is super effective on its dragon part, but ice is not very effective on its, um, not whatever part. Okay, that's enough, just, that's good enough for me. Start chucking, um, let's see, what can I chuck it? Let's chuck a quick ball. <laughs> oh, gosh, that worked. I did not expect that to work. That was awesome. No, I, I never nick... That's another thing I never do. I never nickname Pokemon. I think the the, the only Pokemon I've ever nicknamed is my Shinx in Diamond, and I called it Sparky. That's the closest I've ever got to nicknaming Pokemon. I don't know if we're able to... Oh, yeah, we can just fly out of here. Pokemon fly to let's do blah blah city. Let's Undala Humula. I think I'm doing this right. Give me a minute. So uh, now we're here in Humula, and uh, we can do, no, so yes, I will redo it, just, dang it, I didn't want to come in here. Oh, wait. Now, I think I've tried to do this before, but... I don't remember what happened. So if you come up here, over here, up here, over here. Where do you go now? Oh, down here. And then here we enter Giant Chasm. I don't really remember Giant Chasm, that's the problem. Where, where did you get Yooks? So, yes. So I'm gonna go down here. You come down here and in through here. We'll get to the foggy area of 
giant chasm. It should still be destroyed because of when Team Plasma tried to take it over. What do I- oh, over there. I have no- I'll tell you, I have no clue where I'm going to get around these trees. So now if you head in here, over through here, down in here... So that cane should be broken now, which will allow you to catch Son of a... I didn't heal any of my Pokemon. Let's see. Okay, defeat Black and White Kyrene, yeah. Give me a minute to find out what I'm doing here. Or just to find out what it's weak against, actually. Because I kind of like to know that. Dang it, I have no clue what white or black Kyrie is up against. I don't know, I can tell you it's good. fire is going to be super effective against it. I'm guessing dragon's also going to be... But I have no clue anything else. Reggie Gigagas. That's how you pronounce it, right? Reggie Gigagas. I don't know. I'll I'll get to that guy as well one of these days. Oh, here we go. So moves that take. So electric grass. Water. Okay, so let me go to bag real quick. Let me see what. Do I have in forms of healing agents? Wait, wouldn't they be in here? Revives. Now let's see, what do I have in the form of full restore? Electric should be good for weakening him down here. I let's see what. I don't know. I'm gonna start off with electric and then maybe go to something else. Let me use ice because even though he is ice. It still do a good amount of damage on him. And you can catch it this time. Yeah. Yeah, my speed fell. As long as it, as long as it doesn't know, not guillotine, sheer cold, I'm fine. Wow, this thing, its strategy is to make you as slow as possible. Okay, yes, that'll be good, and it's paralyzed even better. Let's try something weird. Let's try this luxury ball I seem to have for some reason. Nope, nothing. As long as it doesn't know anything, that'll kill itself. That's what I hated about, oh, what was that game? Coliseum? 
it was Colosseum, right? Where Shadow Rush hurt the Pokemon. Oh, damn, that was annoying. I'm just using random balls until I get to the Ultra and Pokeballs. <laughs> Did nothing. And I should be, yeah, you should be able to catch it. He's paralyzed. Because see, paralyzation it helps. The best move for catching a Pokemon is putting it to sleep. If you have a sleeping Pokemon in red health, you're good. You're set, pretty much. Well, it doesn't always work. It worked. I remember that because I did the. Because I literally trained a Watch Hog just so that I had a Pokemon that knew hypnosis. So that it could put, I think I used it on Terrakion to put Terrakion to sleep. Nah, it'll take me out. I'll, what's something that's not? I'll set out. Oh. Wow, it didn't actually take me out. I'm getting nothing from it. This is gonna be um Verizian all over again, isn't it? Oh, it's still trying to lower my speed. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I can't get any more than one. Yeah, so its strategy is to lower your speed to as low as possible. Yeah, see, it's trying to lower my speed. I just realized, we've got... We're about to catch two legendaries in the same episode. That's pretty good. I, I, I don't know what its last move is. It should have one more, if I'm correct. So I'm gonna send out... Crocodile, because it should, none of its moves should be very effective on it. Don't quote me on that, but... Let me use a Pokeball. These Ultra Balls I'm not having any luck with. Yeah, no, 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 no. And now it's going to try to lower my... Uh, speed, or... Yeah, speed again. Oh, it knows imprisoned. And it should it should be catchable. Yeah, I've got a shake on it, right? Yeah, it's catchable. I'm just very unlucky with it. I got 20 Ultra Balls. I'll just use them all. 21, actually. Not 20. And I can't put it to sleep or anything, so I'm kind of out on that luck. And it is still... Oh, wait, how many moves does it... So it no... Wow, it took out Crocodile... Crocodile faster. I'm gonna call it Crocodile. 
Wait, no, that's not smart. That's not smart. <laughs> I almost send out Flygon. Oh, that, that would be stupid of me. Mm. Come on, catch you stupid thing. I want to... I want to be able to say I cut two legendaries in the same episode. And I can't put any other paralysis effects on it. Like, I wouldn't put poison. I'm not stupid enough to put poison or burn. And I don't have anything that can inflict sleep. I'm surprised it's paralyzed. Uh, ice, that shouldn't be super effective. Not one bit, but my speed fell. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't even got, I haven't got one on it. And with how low its health is and how it's paralyzed, that shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, nothing. I'm getting nothing from it. Ugh, this is annoying me. It's Verizian all. I caught Reshiram so easily and now I can't even and now I can barely touch it, catch this thing. Where are there just some legendaries that are super stubborn, like this one? And then there's ones like Reshiram or Terak... Was it Terakian? Who are just super easy. Reggie Ice. Reggie Ice. Was it Reggie Ice? Or, no, Reggie Steel. Reggie Steel, Reshiram, and... and oh, there, was, there must have been another one that I'm totally forgetting right now. That were just super easy to catch. One. Mm. I got paralyzation wore off after a while. One, two, three. I hate when it does. That's the worst. When it when on three, it breaks out. And then I swear, I'm, I'm not gonna get a shake this time. Watch. One. Oh, uh, see, I swear, after you, it gets the three shakes, then breaks out, it resets. So that you have, so that your chances of getting it lower after it breaks out on its third turn. One, two, three. Yes. It's a legendary Ares Pokemon that waits for a hero to fulfill its missing parts of its body with truth or ideals. Okay, interesting. No. Ooh. We'll do that later. First, we gotta catch. I looked at it. It's Let Lati. There's Latios and Latios. We get to in depending on which game you get, you get to catch one or the other. It's like red and blue. We get to catch in this game white. We get to catch Latios, the blue, red one, and I think Latios is the blue one. So we got the DNA splicer. Nice. If I run into things, so be it. And I should be able to fly out a giant chasm. Good, I can. So, let me check something out. Okay, so let me check something. I, um, I know the episode's been up for a few... I should have ended a few minutes ago, but... Uh, 
Ah, great, I talked to the metal man. I don't know how many medals I have. Wallpapers have been added to commemorate your catching of Kyrie. Oh, really? So let's see, I'm gonna remove you and you to add you and you Now if I go to bag, should be under key items, I would think. DNA splicer. Use. I hope this has, like, I wish this would have a bigger role in the next game. You can't really see what's going on, but... And I'm guessing we can use that to unsplice them as well. Giant chasm, it's a dr Ah, uh, you can't see it. It's on my bottom screen currently. Yeah, right there. That's cool. And now I'll add you back to my team. And you know what, I'll just, I'll keep you. Why not? For now. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. You can now fuse them. But yeah, I wish that had like a big... Like you could actually... You get in DNA Splicer or something in the next game. And it plays a bigger role. Like you're able to fuse Pokemon. Like for example, you're able to fuel, fuse a Plessle and a Minim to get like a neutral Pokemon of some sort. A purple one. That would be cool. But in... But I'm going to end it off here. See you guys later.